What the? What now? That looks like that interim we crossed in the time pod. But where did this city come from? And where are Gola and McChronicle? They jumped through the portal right before I did. Hey, you! You lock! Get off of my porch! Ah, a local. Can you tell me where I've landed? In my turnip patch! Wait a minute. Don't I know you? You're... you're... Glandula, the romantic ninja. Just old and ugly. How is that possible? Are you trying to talk your head off? Don't you mean, am I trying to talk your ear off? Not if I got my gun pointed right. Oh. Remorse would be entirely misplaced here. After all, he grew up to be a very passable guy indeed. I'm sure he's a great whistler, and I like what he's done with his hair. One step closer and I'll blow your turn up out. But Glandy, it's me, Professor Rufus. Doesn't that ring a bell? Professor Rufus? Yeah, that's it. He was the guy who used to thank for all of this. Just junk crabs and mites for years on end. <laughs> what about him? I, uh, I killed him. Well done. Now get out of my yard. All right, all right. Take a hike and make it snappy. All right, all right. Where the hell have I landed? Are you lost, stranger? No, I have a photographic sense of direction and always know exactly where I am. It's just the when has been a little confusing lately. When doesn't mean a thing round here. You're in interim time, a space alongside the past. Present and future, I know. I was gonna say perishable food. We don't have anything like a future here. Rumor has it there used to be one. The portal building authorities are digging around looking for it in the foundations of interim time. But if you ask me, it's just newfangled nonsense. No future? Two other newcomers passed by here earlier. They asked about the future too. Friends of yours, perhaps? Impossible. They were just with me. <laughs> Maybe out there. Here in interim time, the clocks tick a little different. <laughs> I see they have a few more hands too. Well, welcome to Paradox City. My name's Rocco McChronicle. If you've got any questions, I'll be happy to help you, uh, um... Rufus. And actually, I do have a couple. Rocco Mc... What the hell did you say? Are you Rocco McChronicle, the father of Dean Angus McChronicle Sr., and therefore our McChronicle's grandfather? You must have confused me with someone else. I don't have a son, and if I did, I'm sure he wouldn't have become a Dean. After all, I'm running a family business here. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it. The last thing I need now is to accidentally prevent McChronicle's birth. You've seen my friends? A sexy chick accompanied by a clever, handsome guy? Uh, not really. We were separated. Well, two strangers certainly passed by earlier on. They met the old hermit. It looked as though they knew each other. They headed off to her farm, turn left at the town hall, and then continue up that way. Where the hell am I? You're in Paradox City, the city between times. Aren't we always between times? Um, excuse me? You know present and future. Yes, I suppose, although here we're not so much between the future. That doesn't exist here. What does that mean, you have no future? That's what I said. If that's what you're interested in, then ask the people at the portal building authorities. They're always talking about the future, and they're trying to dig one up from the junk beneath the city. Absolute madmen, if you ask me. We've never had a future here, and we've managed quite happily without it so far, thank you very much. I urgently need to get to Kuvak. Eh, doesn't ring any bells. Is it beyond interim time? Of course. Then you'd better be off asking the guys from the portal building authorities. They map the portals and know where each one leads. Hey, that's the time part. That there, that's been there since before I arrived. My father was going to repair it. That's why he founded the garage. Apparently it stopped being so important at some point. Like everything here. No, you obviously cannot help me. I'm sorry, buddy.
you can <laughs> Nope. People these days just don't trust one another anymore. You can <laughs> Nope. People these days just don't trust one another anymore. It's obvious that he doesn't have a clue about the future. Otherwise, he would definitely wear something else. Yoo-hoo! I have a question. Keep it thwart. I've got work to do. We're about to make the breakthrough into the future. I can already smell it. Sorry, it's the excitement. What exactly are you doing here? We suspect there may be a so-called future in sediment beneath the city. That's why we started to hollow out its foundation. Aren't you worried that that could make the city somehow, I don't know, slide maybe? The chances always offset the risks. The unimaginative rednecks up there have no idea what a rough diamond they have right under their feet. They see no further than the base that guarantees their apartment stay standing. I see three cafes, Martin, office spaces, and affordable lofts for fashionable high-income earners. Such as architects working for the portal building authorities, for example? Exactly. Any progress? How could there possibly be any when I keep getting interrupted by such trivialities? Well, I thought progress couldn't be stopped. <laughs> I still don't understand exactly what that hole there is supposed to have to do with the future. But it's so very simple. We want to attract a solvent clientele. Time travelers who are literally not born yesterday. A portal to the future who would put a paradox city back on the map. The saying goes, continuous growth through development in interim time. And we're creating the attractions for that. Ugh, you spit when you talk. I have to get to Kuvak, one day before the end of time. Wait, Kuvak? Kuvak? Hmm, unlucky and unlucky. We do have a portal to Kuvak, but that's on the old Hormuz land, so it's not connected to the time travel superhighway yet. We've been fighting for that right away for ages. I'll let you get on with it. Finally! I was afraid I'd miss out on the future all because of you! It's true what they say, you can't make an egg without breaking an own. <laughs> what are you reading? Hey, this is the future issue of Hats. <laughs> what else? And uh, are helmets making a comeback? Oh, sadly not. In the future, all manual work will be performed by machines. That would be great. Then no one would have to work. Why do you think I work so hard? Certainly not for the money. This job is so badly paid that I need a second one to make ends meet. And what's your second job? I write fake reviews for an ad finance rating portal that compares free comparison sites for buying building machinery. Huh. If only we finally had machines that could relieve us of all these important tasks. <laughs> they can drill to their heart's content there. They seem to have a serious fuel art problem here, but it's still too early for any conjectures about guilt. I see all the prerequisites for an entrancing love story. I just think the female lead should be recast. We're out of Fulok soup. We've got toast and milk. And I'm also available on the cheap. My name's Rita. Are you single? Uh, no. Uh, yes. Uh, it's complicated. Don't waste my time. I'm almost 40 and I'm a waitress in the city with no future. Do you really think I'm interested in listening to you moaning on? Well, you asked. I just wanted to... Tick tock, tick tock. Do you hear that? That's my biological clock. Order something, propose to me, or move over for the next in line. Busy here. Anything free today? Yeah, a tip for your girlfriend. As long as she hasn't got a ring on her finger, she shouldn't let her man walk around the city on his own. No, I meant the food. Why didn't you say so? We're out of Fulok soup. We've got toast and milk. Any other questions? What was the offer again? Put a ring on my finger and I'll ignore that whole thing about your face. No, I meant the food. Why didn't you say so? We're out of Fulok soup. We've got toast and milk. Any other questions? One order of, uh, toast and milk, please. Got any money? Nope. Then your girlfriend must be blind. 
Do you have a time machine? Do you think I'd look like this if I had one? Time machines have become quite rare. Maverick has an instant change, but he'd rather run over his grandfather than take someone else on board. And then there's Vince, but he can only offer deterministic time travel. Firstly, that's boring, and secondly, Vince smells of prunes. Otherwise, I only know of the old time pod in Rocco's garage. No idea if that still works. So, if you need passage, just forget it. We're all stranded here. The best thing you can do is get married as quickly as possible. Yeah, I think I'll pass. Hmm, I hear that quite often. I really should unsubscribe from that dating platform. That time traveler apparently comes from a completely different ethnic background. This is where my respect for foreign cultures and my diplomatic tact come into play. Ooga, ooga. Good day, sir. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. May I introduce myself? My name is Ung. Hello. You understand what I say? But of course, communication is one of the most important attributes for the profession in which I work. I'm a trader, and it would be a true conviviality to engage in business with you. I vend in medicinal herbs for a healthy intestinal flora, in exchange for vintage art from the Neolithic period. I give stone. You give fart mush. I couldn't have put it better myself. What a wuss. Boo! Ah! Oh no! The Fulux soup! I'm gonna get fired for sure! My whole future depends on this job! I thought there was no future here. There is for me! My future self is sitting over there in the corner. He says that if I don't try a lot harder, I I'll never be as successful as... Uh, well me. He said, I've got to save, work hard, and sign up to a pension plan. Otherwise, I'll never drive a sleek, instant change five. And then, well, it would all be for nothing. Why don't you just make a new suit? I, I can't. We've run out of few lock ribs. Oh, man. What a disaster. Who's taking so long? Uh... Occupied! You plan on being done in the crapper anytime soon? Don't rush me! I suffer from severe temporal constipation. Temporal constipation? Not perhaps temporal diarrhea? No! I'm over that. But how the crap... <sighs> <laughs> surprise, surprise, huh? I recognized your voice. You're the time crapper. <laughs> the temporal toilet tourist who apparently has made it his mission to clog every toilet in the entire multiverse. Uh, oh, uh, end times person? Uh, is that you? But I've only just met you. Uh, you gave me this wonderful toilet paper. The money from Cletus's suitcase, I remember. But that was my other adventure, a version of the future which no longer exists, as if a huge plug were clogging everything up. Oh, tell me about it. Oh, everything was flowing just fine. Oh, now it's come to a standstill. Exactly. But I'll get things back up and running. Oh, that would be great. What a slime ball. Is that your ride out there? Why, have I blocked you in? No, don't worry. <laughs> Shame. So why are you asking? Well, you left the lights on. If you give me the key, then... Huh. Nice try. Not only does the Instant Change Coupe make time travel possible without that bothersome time branching, it also has the automatically adjusting headlights since the 5 Series. That's a nice device. No two ways about it. <sighs> Every time traveler's dream. For a long time, I thought I'd never be able to afford more than the 2 Series. The so-called butter churn. But I was ambitious. I wanted the 5 Series more than anything else. I've slogged and slaved, shed blood, sweat, and tears, scrimped, and saved again. And now, now that I've got there, the only thing that still gives me any joy is pushing around other people who don't slave away as hard as I did back then. For example, my former self, that lazy slacker. He should have served me a bowl of delicious Fulox soup ages ago, but... Do you see any delicious Fulox soup around here, huh? I don't. If he doesn't start moving my ass soon, I could be to a real ass-chewing. 
He shouldn't be time traveling anymore at his age. Nonsense, my boy. True, the cataracts hinder three dimensional sight, but we travel in four dimensions. Do you own one of the time machines out there? But of course, my young friend. I call it the retardis. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone laughing? Because they have no idea. The retardness is a jewel in the crown of time travel technology. <laughs> <laughs> he oh, said sorry. jewel. Mr. Vincent is neglecting to tell you that his antediluvian vehicle cannot undertake genuine time travel. Only deterministic time travel. You can't change the past with it. You're stuck there until you've recreated the condition of the timeline at the point of departure. Huh? Don't listen to them. A trip in the retardus is always worth it. If you like, I can take you on a little spin. All I need is a portal map with precise space-time coordinates on it. Just ask the lads at the portal building authorities. Mmm, peanuts. Tasty. What? You eat Mikey! What? But, oh no, I, I thought you were peanuts. Nah, uh, don't worry. Mikey was an ass anyway. And we are peanuts. Sapien peanuts from another time. Delicious and clever. What do you know? Can I maybe take you along anyway? The way things are going here, I'll probably have to make you into peanut butter. Mm, no. To be honest with you, we wouldn't like that. Let him speak. Maybe he's got a good reason. A good reason to turn us into peanut butter? Oh, yeah. True. He hasn't given us one yet. Yeah. Why does he want to do that? On principle. On principle, he says. That's pathetic. Ugh. Wrong answer, matey. Well, then maybe. As travel provisions. Now you're really getting my coat. First Mikey, and now this. You greedy gunnet. What I meant was... Since when do I need a reason? That usually pops up later. Can you believe such arrogance? Oh, look at me. I'm a biped. I don't need any reasons to eat peanuts. We want to hear the reason. Okay, okay. For love. Wow, now that's what I call a proper answer. Oh, we'd be happy to sacrifice ourselves for love. Yippee! Me first! About one more question. How exactly does it help love if we're made into peanut butter? Oh, yeah! I'd like to know that, too. Let him speak! I want to win back Goal's affection. Oh, that's so sweet. I don't know. Mm, I'm not convinced either. But, but this is Goal we're talking about. Yeah, but who's Goal? I mean... Do we even know her? I certainly don't know her. Oh, true. So how do we know if you're a good match? Goal is also more of a long-term goal. Huh? Well, how do you mean? Oh, it's so cryptic! Love needs no further explanation. No explanation, no deal! No, sir! Find someone else to make into peanut butter. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. You're right, just forget I said anything. No probs, matey. No offense. Come back again once you've thought of a valid reason, you pillock. I created them from a rib, and now I need the rib back. I created them, and now Don't you dare! Or do you have some kind of death wish that involves being ripped to shreds by a pack of fuel locks? Well, I thought nothing ventured, nothing gained. Don't think, soldier! It's war out here, and in war, there were only losers. I think he takes the whole thing a bit too seriously. He could use a change of perspective. Hey there! Do not distract me! I've got to stay alert! Or do you have some kind of death wish that involves being ripped to shreds by a pack of fuel locks? You have a fuel lock problem here? What does it look like to you, huh? Hysterical overreaction? What are those trash cans for? That's where we keep the seats so they don't go bad. And so the wombats can't get at them. 
Those critters are getting worse by the day, almost as bad as the fuel ox. I catch them meddling with the bins all the time. That's why I always keep my eyes on both sides. My wife says I've started to squint. <laughs> it's a good job it's so quiet on the fuel lock front. We're not equipped for a war on two fronts. What are those trash cans for? That's where we keep the seeds, so, and so the wampos critters are almost as bad as the fuel locks. I, that's why I, oh, my wife, <laughs> it's a good, we're not a Oh, there you are. Howdy, Rufus. You wouldn't believe who I met in the city. My granddad. I know. He didn't recognize me. No wonder. To him, you're not even born yet. I guess I never will be. Even the slightest interventions change the timeline. In all probability, we prevented the birth of my father already. Hogwash. I've seen everything possible and impossible in the last while, but nothing even remotely resembling a timeline. The whole thing is more like a fuzzy, knotted time scheme than anything else. It's okay, Rufus. I'm doing just fine. Ah, isn't it incredibly interesting here? Yeah, very picturesque. But we have to get a move on. Don't you remember? Where's Gold? In the farmhouse. But there's no reason to hurry. Here in interim time... The clocks run differently. I already know. Still, no reason to take our foot off the gas. One of these portals must lead to Kuvak. We used it earlier ourselves. Yeah, it's that one there. That one? <laughs> I actually expected a few mind-bending puzzles first, but so much the better. Wait here. I'll go get gold, and then we can go get our future back. Whoa, Butterfingers at work. Now I just have to pick up gold, and then that time loop cranking so-and-so is going to have an out-of-body experience. Hey, Goal, no time for coffee, time to move. We... Wait a second, am I counting right? Your goal, I mean, your goal too. And you are almost as perceptive as when I left you, Rufus, savior of the world, suicidal time traveler. <laughs> you forgot butt model, but how can that be? What are you doing here? Which goal are you? She's the goal that you rescued from the future. Yeah, and in return, she left me and Mac on Elysium, stole the time machine, and whoosh! That was the thanks we got. I've not got such a talent for dramatic endings as you. <laughs> and you didn't get far either. Yes. Perhaps I was a bit too quick off the mark there. When I arrived in interim time, there was no future anymore. The tunnel had simply come to an end, and the autopilot was steering me directly at it. I had to crash land, and was stranded. For us, only a few hours have passed. For her, it's been a lifetime. Why didn't you use one of the portals? The portals only opened much later. At first, they were all out of reach. Then the Deponians started to throw their trash into interim time. The time travelers also started arriving from all sorts of pasts. Most were stranded here like me. We built Paradox City from the trash. We tried to reach the portals, but none of them led to the right time. Then, when the first children were born, we realized that we had built ourselves a new home. But now I'm here. So come on, we... What was that? An earthquake? We've only had one of those once before. The time when the portals opened. Yeah, never a dull moment around here. Don't run off. I'm gonna go have a look. Oh, come on. Where's the portal to Kuvak? And the others, all gone. I think I have an explanation. When the tachyons poured into the open portal unchecked just now in the lab, we didn't only open the one portal, 
but also all the surrounding ones too. Portals leaving to completely different places and time. As time passes much faster in here, they were open for years. A whole city was built whilst you fetched gold from the university. Shortly after you stepped through the portal, the anomaly closed behind you. In the lab, this was a blink of the eye. Here, countless minutes. You mean this city only exists because we opened the portal earlier? <laughs> really makes you think, eh? Yeah. Like, for example, how do we get out of here now that the portals are closed? I was thinking more of the moral implications. Well, what will happen to the people here if we restore the old timeline? Are we even allowed to do that? I can't see any signs. I noticed that too. You should get it looked at. Amazingly, there was still a bit of antidote left. Uh-huh. You girls having a good talk? I'm just telling Gole about your stamp cannon. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't have used so much cheese. She held up well. The portals have closed. I'm sure you'll think of something. I already thought of something. No, you are not going to get a jet pack. Aw, oh, man. She's totally confused. I probably would be, too. The portals have closed. I have to try to open them again. Are you coming along? Can't it wait? I'm having a conversation right now. Of course. You can just sit here all day long talking to yourself. You do that all the time, too. <laughs> Actually, he's the one who talks all the time. I just listen. Gold's hair may have lost its color, but it still smells like marshmallow candies. What's that doing here? I was going to use that for my last beat of the drum sculpture. I've been waiting for weeks for the battery to run out, but it just keeps going and going and going. You've become a sculptor? <laughs> I had a lot of time on my hands. That excuses some things, but not everything. The closed book. Uh, that's not quite finished yet. What is this supposed to represent? That is the unfinished point. Oh, it's supposed to look unfinished. And here I thought it just wasn't finished. Oh, I'd better have another go at that then. Can I take that? Uh, no, it's not finished yet. I could finish it. And just how are you going to finish it? I can finish anything. You're going to finish me off one of these days. Are you finished yet? Yes. No. Oh, we'll just take it then. I will. On your marks, go. And finished. Okay, what just happened here? The clean break. I'm still working on it. The spent candle. It's one of my unfinished pieces. The country air seems to be good for him. His cheeks have gone all rosy. Your granddad won't let me through to the time pod. Sounds like him. I was never allowed to borrow his car either. Any ideas on how to distract him? Uh, with a good book, perhaps? A book. We want to break into his workshop, not celebrate his birthday. Which probably eliminates the necktie option, too. Think, how can we distract your granddad? Uh, socks? Oh, dear. Lock alarm. Oh, again? Ugh. That means we'll have to take another compulsory break. No, it doesn't mean that. One can't keep the future waiting. Why? Has he got somewhere to go? Strange. I can't see anything. Wait a minute, I know that sound. 
there were wombats in the bins again. Give me something to shoot at. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come on now, show yourselves. Come on now, show yourselves. Rufus, bring stone. Hmm, interesting. The material used to create this sculptural opus magnum is clearly basalt from the Germian Fatstone Mountains. I can make out deposits of obsidian and even inclusions of chrysoberyl. My respect for the fine arts unfortunately forbids me from exploiting this aesthetic ornament purely for the purposes of my base commercial ambitions. That would be barbarity. Ta-da! Fulock ribs! Now, where did you get them? Where do you think? I ripped them off of Fulock. <laughs> I don't know how I can ever thank you enough. But if it's not asking too much, could you take the soup to my future self? Sure, why not? But careful! I think he's looking for a reason to get me fired. Fulock soup! Finally! Darn. That was actually quite alright. Am I hearing disappointment? Yes. Of life. I've grafted away all my youth to be able to afford an instant change five. Now I'm old. Making other people's lives hell is the only joy I have left. And now... I can't even manage that anymore. Ah, don't be so hard on yourself. You can do it. Be a good little boy and bring me some seconds. Maybe then I'll find the hair in my soup that will give me an excuse to fire someone. That's the spirit? And? What did he say about the soup? Looks like he enjoyed it. He wants another one. Really? Oh boy. Maybe I haven't screwed up my future after all. <laughs> Here. Fortunately, we've now got loads of this stuff. Waiter, there's a hair in my Fulock soup. Then be glad you didn't order the Fukaka soup. Fulock soup! Finally! I was about to get my former self fired. But what? Wait a minute. What the hell is this? There's a hair in my soup! I want to see the manager and me! What? How did you get here so quickly? <laughs> You're obviously experiencing a side effect of my new Instant Change 2. It uses a time travel technique that doesn't create any new timelines. All changes become immediately visible. Didn't you just want to save up for Series 5? Yes, but then my future self came along, completely broke. So, I bought the two series off him. It's quite practical, as long as you don't take pregnant women on board. And now that I don't need to save anymore, <laughs> I quit immediately. My future self was probably more in need of a job anyway. And what are you gonna live on? I'll break into my pension plan, and then, well, <laughs> we'll see. The future suddenly looks bright again. So, that's your instant change too out there? Yes. Why? Well, you left the lights on. Ugh, really? It's probably a problem with the electrics again. Damn butter churn. Ah, why oh why didn't I save up for the 5 series? Nobody knows. Uh, here, could you turn it off for me? Sure, happy to help. Now where did I park my time machine again? And most importantly, when? Ha! <laughs> 
Ha-ha! Success! Wow, what is all this stuff? I wonder if I'll be able to start the engine. Ah, damn butter churn. A genuine engine would be nice, but looky here. Surprise, surprise. It's short one cylindrical device. <laughs> Poetry. And that should fit size-wise, but why bother? It's broken. This is a workshop, right? Caught red-handed. Maybe I should have hidden the tools. Fix this. What is it? What does it look like? Hmm. I guess it's an anti-diluvian cylinder head. As all of the time travelers come here from the past, it doesn't surprise me at all. It's not even worth repairing. But I do happen to have a spare cylinder in stock. Keep it. The first spare part is always on the house. Funny. With me, the first always goes through the neighbor's window. That would fit perfectly, but why should I waste my new butter churn repairing strange cars without being asked? I'm not the nice young man from the motor club. for this art yet, but I'm sure they'll appreciate it in the future. It is finished, sort of. Hey, Rocco. Howdy, Rufus. Can you repair the portals? Worrying, isn't it? But there's nothing that can be done about it. Portals have neither a motor nor any other mechanical components. Oh, then it's all up to me again. Are there any goats in Paradox City? Not that I know of, and I'm sure you'll find something better to sweeten the time until the portals open up again, you rotter. Huh? I have to get to the time pod. No can do. It's a bit of a family heirloom. Nonsense. It belongs to the old goal. Belonged to. She left it to my father. But that's... You won't be able to argue with my granddad, Rufus. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? I'm a mysterious voice from your memory. What? Since when? Don't you like it? Sure, it's pretty cool. Who are you talking to? Quiet back there! Got a tip on how to get past him? Not really! He was the most stubborn human being that I have ever known! That's not a lot of help. You are right! Sorry! I feel slightly silly. Farewell! Oh, you all right? Huh? Why? Oh, nothing. What was your question again? I urgently need to get to the time pod. And I said, no. It's a bit of a family heirloom. And family comes first. Mysterious Memory McChronicle! What? So, you got an idea yet? I I thought you had one. But I haven't! Then what are you doing here? You are right. Sorry! Always nice to hear from him. You're behaving 
very strangely. Ah, you obviously cannot help me. I'm sorry, buddy. You old amorotic pin hat. Act like the thing is not dead and didn't run into a brick wall. I fulfilled already. Let me help you fill that gap in memory. Living in the waste was unto your taste, but soon you will gaze true straight in the face. All rivers run eventually to the sea. At the sage, it's